Hello Cancers, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are well, okay? Happy birthday to all my Cancerians that are celebrating this week, this weekend, last week. Happy belated today, tomorrow. Happy birthday, guys. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what's going on with your energy at this time, okay? Let's see what's taking place with love in your space, okay? If you guys are interested in a personal reading, of course, all my information is below all right, let's see. Cancers, please. What's going on with my beautiful Cancerians at this time? Cancers. What a jumper. Secret admirer here, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, there may be this secret energy. Of course, it's like I... I've decided to possibly stop focusing on it. I've decided to possibly focus on me now right because there's a strong energy of self-love that's happening for a lot of you guys self-love and i love you here all right it's like the minute that you guys really start focusing on yourself there's this energy of this individual that comes in that truly starts realizing how much they love you how much they care about you here okay because we have a secret admirer for some of you guys this may be new love old love however it is a secret right it is a secret how much this person truly feels for you. So I know some of you just may be like, I don't, I don't know if this person, or they're not acting like that. It's a secret admirer, okay? So let's just see what else is going on, right? This could be somebody that has possibly pulled away from you, right? But still holding on to your energy, okay? Still holding on to your heart or attempting to hold on to your heart okay but i feel like for some of you guys you really just stepped back for a minute it's like i had to step back um i've stepped back because i've been through so much i've been through so much in the past here that stepping back is something that i have to do right i'm celebrating me i'm celebrating my energy i have to stand in a place of um protecting myself all right so let's see what else we have here for my cancers cancers please oh babe beautiful so we have patience of course we have patience we have rekindle and we have soulmate here okay so there is some sort of soulmate connection that's going on here but i feel like it's requiring a lot of patience for a lot of you guys and i feel like this is one of those things where it's like yeah but i've been patient right i've been very patient with this person i've been patient with this energy but i feel like once again once you really start focusing on you there's this energy of somebody wanting to rekindle something here with you okay strong soulmate connection um and i feel like a lot of you guys are very intuitive a lot of my cancers so it's like i know who you're talking about hannah i know who you're talking about and i'm going to be patient i'm going to be patient with love and i'm going to be patient with loving me okay more so so let's dig deeper and let's just see what's going on with you guys here who is this person okay how is this person truly feeling about my cancers okay again this is a general reading so take it how it resonates so who is how is this person feeling towards my cancers at this time i don't really feel thank you so this could be somebody that's silent here all right this is how they're feeling as well this person may feels like feel like you're not really opening up anymore you could be a bit secretive right this is somebody that possibly um has given you this feeling of you know they're possibly not working on things anymore right they've possibly um just stepped into this energy of not doing anything so i do feel like this person also feels like you're quiet you're not saying much okay how does this person feel in their heart about my beautiful cancers okay for some of you guys there may be some sort of distance here okay some sort of distance here thank you how do they feel intimacy it's like they're missing the closeness however i feel like there's something about loyalty here all right we have past life connections we have karmic lessons and we have repeated patterns here all right so there's something here i feel like in this connection that you truly learned about yourself or you learned about um this relationship or the relationship you have with yourself here because i feel like with this energy this silent 
energy that's taking place here has brought this question like can i trust this person right can i trust this person to be loyal to me although i feel like your person is missing this closeness that you guys had at some point i feel like they're questioning the loyalty right i feel like for a lot of you guys you've made it very clear to this person i don't think i trust you right and even if you haven't said it it's like i've literally put my heart on the line and you possibly you weren't loyal to it okay so i do feel like there's this question here will cancer trust me does cancer trust me am i able to be loyal has trust been broken here all right you possibly found out something about this person here there's animals here involved some of you guys may love animals but it's more so like can i trust this person again okay can i trust this person to uh, follow through can I trust them to love me can I trust them to be honest transparent and things like that and I feel like for a lot of you guys this is why this person hasn't come forward here all right there is something that this person possibly is still working on but one of the main things that I'm picking up is how loving and how passionate you were with this person and I feel like again they think about the intimacy they think about how the conversations went here how you were always loyal to them all right, how you were always there for them when they truly needed someone. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with this patient's energy here. Let's see what they're trying to say to us here. What's going on with this patient's energy? I feel like for a lot of my cancers, currently you're being patient with someone. You're being patient with yourself more so, but it's like I'm being patient with love here. Okay, I'm being patient for. Um, for the good here because it's like i can't rush things right i can't rush this person to open up to me i just can't do it i can't lose myself in the midst of this person not paying attention to this connection all right all right what else do we have for patients at this time trust thank you trust love Oof, beautiful cancers I feel like a lot of you guys are in this place where it's like, whoever I dealt with, I know that this person has had trust issues, okay? I don't know what it is with these animals here, dogs and, and beautiful things of that nature. This person could have a pet or whatever it is, or you guys may share some sort of uh, uh, pets together, okay? But I feel like there's this energy of someone here possibly having extreme trust issues, all right? Or this person was very neglected or they feel like they were abandoned with when they were a child okay in their past here and i feel like this is something that this person has been trying to work on trying to work on um actually understanding love understanding what it's like to give and receive love here for a lot of you guys okay because i feel like this person it's like they're just it's like i don't know who to trust okay and this could be you too cancer take it how it resonates but again i feel like someone here is wanting to move towards love like i want this ten of cups i want the happy family i want somebody that is going to be loyal someone that is going to stand by me right and as we just sit and enjoy life right and we you know move away from fear because i feel like for a long time, you and this person, I feel like it's your person. I feel like fear has been preventing this person from truly um, living their, their best life here, where this person possibly has a, a persona that they have to put up or an image that they have to protect here. But again, I feel like someone here really wants to move towards a happy place emotionally, spiritually here. Okay, so they're they're asking patience here for a lot of you guys, right? Patience for this person to truly find themselves. All right, I'm just going to get some more here with this connection. See what's going on. Thank you. It's like the minute you decide to release this, right? I feel like this person begins to look back, right? Wow. Look how much cancer loved me. Look how much cancer truly, really cared about me. And I feel like this person starts to honestly analyze the love that you brought to this person's life here, okay? Because I feel like it was something that this person didn't have very much of right i feel like this person was possibly alone this person possibly just focused on other things work and things like that but i feel like again once you guys decided to release this right and stand in love where it's like i'm not going to be upset 
if you don't understand the love that I'm giving you. However, I'm going to withdraw, right? I'm going to pull away from this. And here your person comes here, right? I feel like this is somebody that may watch you. This may be somebody that is very uh, curious of how you're feeling in terms of things like that. But again, like I said, I feel like this person's looking back here like, wow, look how much Cancer loved me, right? Look how much Cancer was open and look how beautiful this connection was here. OK, so I do feel like this person's looking back at that right now. And I feel like this starts to come in once you back up and allow this person to work through their their thoughts, their emotions. Right. Some people are taking longer than others, but I feel like it's just something that has to do with patience. It's like I have to be patient. OK, I have to be patient and I have to trust. What is this person's intentions towards my cancers? This person's intentions, please. Again, this is somebody, again, it's like they keep looking back here. They keep looking back. Keep looking back with a lot of emotions. This is somebody that is very protective of their emotions, all right? Very cautious with their emotions. It's like, I don't want to get hurt again. I don't know if I could trust myself. I don't know if this is the right decision here, all right? Hence why we have that silent energy. This could be somebody here also that's still in a family situation for some of you guys, all right? Take that how that resonates. But there is somebody here, it's like I'm trying to... I'm trying to release the situation here and it's taking some time they're saying it's like it's taking some time this person could be ending something with a Scorpio or ending something ending some sort of relationship here because I feel like this person again it's like they need to go through some sort of transformation something going on with this person and I feel like they're very silent about it they're silent about their truth what could my cancers expect moving forward here we have rekindle some of you guys may meet someone new here okay it's like you're reuniting or meeting a soulmate here for a lot of you guys okay or someone in the past coming forward some more please for this so we have communication there is some sort of communication that comes in very quickly for a lot of you guys with this new person or this person from the past here there is some sort of communication that comes in very quickly where someone here tries to connect again right it's like i want to connect i want to see how you're doing i want to see how you're feeling could be a text whatever it may be um in terms of communication for you here okay let me some more what my cancers expect It's like, I want to tell you something. It's like, I could, it's like, I want to talk to you. All right. I want to talk to you. Now, for some of you guys, you will be very um, standoffish, right? Because it's like, can I trust this person, right? This person has come back and forth. Can I trust them? Right. I feel like you guys are going to have like this resistant energy of, I'm not too sure if, are, you know, what you're truly looking for here. Okay. Like you've been silent for so long about this. Okay, so we have hangman here. This is something that I feel like a lot of my cancers, it's like in the midst of me positioning myself here. Okay, for some of you guys, we have Aries energy. In the midst of me positioning myself here, I have to focus on me here. Okay, because I feel like you guys don't want to be misled. All right, could be dealing with someone that is like a business owner, whatever it may be. But it's like, I don't know if I trust this person at this time, because I do see a lot of you guys putting things on hold. All right. Just saying, wait, hold on. I have to think through this here. All right. I have to think through this here. And I'm not too sure if I want to turn my back for a lot of you guys. You're wanting to know, has this person truly released their past? Have they truly walked away from something in their past here? Okay. Cause it's like, I don't know if I trust that this person has completely released their past. All right. So we have the Aries energy here again. And I feel like someone here feels like someone's walking away. So it's like, come here. Where, you know, where are you going? I feel like this person's understanding that emotionally that you've had enough. Okay. With this vibration in terms of how it was being treated, right? And how it wasn't treated with respect and love and things of that nature and loyalty. So I do feel like this person's just watching you walk away. And this is where this communication comes in. This is something that this person starts to feel really energetically, okay? It's like, wow, cancer really hasn't 
attempted to reach out or attempted to possibly work things out here in the past cancer possibly wasn't patient right yeah all right give me one more please for my cancers what could they expect in love what could we expect here comes this knight of cups here again guys okay so again seven of pentacles somebody here wants to work on this here we have the knight of pentacles as well this is someone here could be a earth sign okay capricorn taurus or virgo and i feel like this person could be trying to get their finances together trying to work on something here with their finances here working very hard all right making sure they're not making any mistakes here it could be somebody also that's trying to find their stability within their finances right i feel like again this person is like i'm coming however right i'm coming but it's like they're taking their time here okay this is somebody here that wants to work on things right they're looking at how much they invested in this connection and i feel like this person wants to come in with some sort of love offer all right and again this is up to you whether you want to accept this or not okay whether you want to have this reconciliation with this individual or not okay because i feel like this person truly doesn't want to let you go why because this person understands that there is a strong connection there is all right and i feel like it's um with a lot of my cancers at this time it's like this person may feel like i'm done with them but what it really is is i'm just more so protecting myself loving myself focusing on me right not putting me on the back burner any longer i feel like that's what you're more so doing right it's not like i'm trying to get revenge or anything like that i'm just focusing on me right door to spirit for a lot of you guys yeah so you guys a lot of my cancers at this time you may be moving towards um you know your spirituality right moving into um praying moving into loving yourself centering yourself you know really just loving and meditating and putting yourself in this energy of i have to be at peace here okay so i feel like you guys may be doing this here 32 whatever 32 may mean to you guys this time but i'm protecting myself i'm loving myself i'm listening to my intuition right i'm not allowing the uh outside world to distract i mean to disturb i should say my internal voice right i'm listening to myself i'm listening to my spiritual voice listening to god okay all right what else do we have here I'm not distracted by this, you know, confusion here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm healing myself. All right. So what else do we have here? And we have action. Okay. So again, someone here is taking action here. All right. You guys, again, maybe dealing with somebody that's trying to move away from some sort of darkness. It's interesting. 17. All right. If 17 means anything for you guys as well. Okay. July 17th, whatever it may be for today. But again, like I said, I see somebody moving away from anything dark, anything toxic, anything draining. I'm moving away from it, right? And I'm moving towards the light here. Okay, this could be you or your person. Take it how it resonates. I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing one, guys.